Hello, hello. So uh, I got three drives in my computer, in my main machine, and they are all NVMe drives, or M.2 drives. They are all the same. It's the Samsung 980 Pro. They are two terabyte each. The storage drive here in the middle is connected to a um, M.2 port or slot that uses PCI Express 3. So I don't get the full speed out of it. But anyway, these drives are more than 50% full right now. So I thought I would move my storage stuff to a so-called uh, iSCSI drive. Um, iSCSI drive is basically a storage on a different computer over the network, but it shows up as a internal drive over here. So what's the difference between a network share and the iSCSI? Well, the iSCSI shows up as an internal drive. And why is that important? Well, I can, for example, use Steam on that iSCSI drive, but I can't install Steam on a network share. So, um, that's why I want to have like internally <laughs> stuff. So I'm going to set that up on my TrueNAS box. Uh, right now I just have the storage stuff. I don't really use it that much for storage. So I thought I would use it for um, iSCSI as well. I have totally eight drives on my, uh, or eight SSDs on my NAS here, you can see, in a big pool. It's in RAID Z1, as you call it. Uh, it's basically RAID 5. So I thought, well, the total free space, yeah, it's 5.68. So let's say that I want to use five terabytes or TB bits uh, for the iSCSI. So, yeah, you go to uh, actually data sets. First, I'm going to create a new ZVOL on this pool. So, uh, and this works differently on uh, Turas Core. I think you do it on storage. Uh, the ZVOL here, but uh, this is just the pools. <clears throat> And here you can see also the share, the SMB share that I have already. But I want to create this ZVOL on, uh, like the, on the pool. So add ZVOL. I shall see dash main PC. I don't need any comments. Size for the pool. Uh, five TV bits, and in this case, I'm actually going to use four size because default it will uh, it won't let you create a Z wall that is larger than 80% of your pool. Uh, I want to use that anyway <laughs> because I'm not going to use this uh, system for other for other things than iSCSI basically. Uh, yeah, they're just standard uh, depression of block size 128. Let's see. Yeah, leave it as default. Let's see if this actually works. Leave. Yes. Now we have a block size sort of share besides the folder share, so to speak. That is now created. Perfect. Now we go to shares. Now we should create instead of a SMB share, we are going to have a block share. Nice, Cassie. 
and we're going to do <clears throat> i haven't created anything yet so it stopped and stuff we're going to do the wizard here and let's see keep the name short and only lowercase if you name longer than uh, okay loud characters letters numbers period dash okay you can have dash but it should be all lowercase okay i7 dash 12700 okay because that's the machine that is going to use it device device it should be this one i selected the one i just created and this is why i created before because if you select create new it won't let you do the force size um, and then sharing platform it's going to be just a modern os target create new next portal create new uh, chap Great new sixty nine user ask as a user password and IP address this is for so it will actually look or accept requests from all IP addresses so that's that this should be done Let's get the user yes initiators you don't need to do anything here it will accept all initiators so let's see, save. Ice service, ice service not currently running. Enable, yes, start. <clears throat> so it's now running. So that's that. Now I should be actually done on uh, TrueNAS. So yeah, system and services. Yeah, it's running. Smart and SMB also. So let's minimize this. And now we should be on the Windows machine. And Windows comes with an iSCSI initiator. So you just, uh, you might have to activate it, but I think I did that before. So you just type start iSCSI initiator, press enter. Looks like this, and over here, you should type the IP address to your TrueNAS for iSCSI server. Dot ten dot twelve. Yeah, it should be. Quick connect. That shows up over there. Twelve thousand seven hundred K. Yes, done. And let's see to connect yourself. Let's see if we can actually using advanced option connect. Oh, we can have multipath over there. Uh, I don't know. Think that should be enough. No. Uh, disk management. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> Here it shows up right away uh, as a new drive. So I should initialize it. Okie dokie. So it actually shows up. You can see it's five, 5,000 gigabytes. So it's five terabytes. Um, size. So right here it shows up as an internal drive. And right now I can just, uh, let's see. Yeah, it's GPT. 
new simple volume just treat it like a regular drive name it iscasi and it now shows up over here is f so yeah let's see if it's not too big sloppy like so <laughs> yeah so this now works just like a regular yeah let's do this right now I'm recording this uh, try to do it like this. Recording. Paste it. It's kind of instant <laughs> because they are kind of small. Uh, let's try a sort of a bigger size here. Debian, yeah, let's have a Copy to Iskasi. Yeah. Ooh, that was fast. Holy crap. Yeah. So that's how it works. Uh, now I'm just going to copy stuff over here. Uh, let's see if I actually go in the entire. Yeah. Pretty fast. Okay, I think it was down a little bit. It's about okay, but I'm only going to use this for storage anyway. So, yeah, it goes up and down. <laughs> but yeah, it works. That's great. So uh, yeah, that's how you kind of do it. So uh, catch you later.